नमस्कार एंड वेलकम नेटवर्क एनालिसिस और पॉट एंड सीपीएम एंड नाउ वी हैव रीच्ड द लास्ट स्टेप और लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर केस एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन इंडिपेंडेंट फ्लोट इंडिपेंडेंट फ्लोट इज एक्चुअली से पार्ट ऑफ फ्री फ्लोट नॉट एक्जेक्टली द टोटल फ्लोट ओके आउट ऑफ टोटल फ्लोट वी कैन कंसिडर अबाउट इंडिपेंडेंट फ्लोट बट looking to the meaning of independent float it is relevant or it is related to free float what is independent float independent float is the amount of float time which can be used without affecting predecessor or successor activities yeah it is the amount of float time available for an activity when its preceding activities are completed at their latest allowable finish time and its succeeding activities begin at their earliest start time leaving the minimum time available for its performance that means for the performance of the current activity if we consider about calculation the formula can be somewhat complex or clumsy independent float equals to earliest start time for succeeding activity yes succeeding The activity to be performed after this activity minus latest finish time for the preceding activity. Preceding the activities which are completed before these activities, all minus duration of this activity. Independent float is always less than or equal to free float. That means it can never exceed the free float. If you calculate independent float and it comes to an amount greater than the amount of free float then it is an error we have to check negative value of the independent float may be obtained yes mathematically it is possible to have negative amount of independent float but it is taken as zero yes so let's try to learn from our case in case of a there is no preceding activity so the latest finish time for the preceding activity we have to take would be zero but it has a succeeding activity d these earliest start time is 2 yes earliest start time of succeeding activity d minus latest finish time of the preceding activity that is start zero yes 2 minus zero is zero minus duration of a2 so it comes to zero 1 3 its succeeding activity is r e f g but looking to b it is a critical activity so its float is always zero but let's check yes 7 7 7 earliest start time of succeeding is 7 minus earliest sorry latest finish time there is no preceding or predecessor of b because b is the start activity so it should be taken as 0 7 minus 7 7 minus 0 is 7 minus duration of b is 7 is 0 see all the floats of critical activity are always zero and that's why if we don't show the critical activities in this chart it is always allowed it is always equal equally correct c is also a start activity its successor is h earliest start time of h comes to 8 8 8 minus 0 minus duration of c 8 so it is 0 d 2 5 its successor is i earliest start time of i is 13 minus predecessor of d is 2 that is a latest finish time allowable for a is 11 Difference comes to two, and duration of D is three. Two minus three equals to minus one. But negative independent float is always taken as zero. In case of E now three five, so successor is I. I latest finish time is thirteen. Thirteen. Minus e's predecessor is b. 
B is latest finish time allowed is 17. 13 minus, sorry, 7. 13 minus 7 is 6. Minus duration of E is 6. So independent float is 0. F, 3, 6. Its immediate successor is J. The earliest start time of J is 17. Minus F's predecessor is B. B's latest finish time is 7, 17 minus 7 is 10, 10 minus duration of F, 10. So it is 0. Now it is turn of G, 3, 7. So its immediate successor is K. K's earliest start time is 15. Minus G's predecessor is B. B's latest finish time allowed is 7. 15 minus 7 is 8, 8 minus duration of G4, so its independent float comes to 4, C4 is equivalent to the free float of 4, yes, maximum it can be equal to free float, G, now it is turn of H, 4, 6, so its immediate successor is J, and J's earliest start time is 17, Minus immediate predecessor of H is C. C's latest finish time allowed is 11. 17 minus 11 equals to 6. Minus duration of H is 6. So independent float comes to 6 minus 6, 0. H. Now it is turn of I. Its immediate successor is K. K is Earliest start time is 15. Minus predecessor of I is B as well as E. Latest finish time in both the case 14. 15 minus 14 is 1. Minus duration of I is 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. But again the negative independent float is taken as 0. I. Now J. There is no immediate successor of J. It is finish. So it can be taken as 22. Its immediate predecessor is H. Yes. 22 minus latest finish time allowed of H is 17. 22 minus 17 is 5, 5 minus duration of J5, it is 0. And we know that in case of critical activity, the floats are always 0. See, all the floats of these three critical activities are 0. That's why it is allowed if you don't write critical activities in this chart. K. Immediate successor, there is no activity but... It is end event 22, its immediate successor is I, so 22 minus latest finish time of immediate predecessor 16, 22 minus 16 equals to 6, minus duration of K is 6, 6 minus 6 is 0. Thus the independent floats can be calculated. If the independent float comes to negative, we write it as 0. And independent float can never exceed the free float. Yes, it is either equivalent to free float or less than the free float. So in this way, in the last four lectures, we discussed about total float, interfering float, free float and independent float. I hope... All these lectures will help you say to understand all these concepts. Best of luck. Thank you very much.